I wish the COS was bigger. <gasps> oh my gosh! Wait, how am I gonna fit this into my purse? Guess I'm just gonna have to switch to a backpack. Let me just start by saying that I know a lot of you guys don't like my EOS videos, but this video is for all the people out there who has been requesting a new EOS video. So I decided that I wanted to continue making EOS videos because it's something that I enjoy doing and I really hope you guys will support me in this decision. And I am so excited to be back with a huge gigantic bang when I show you how to make a giant EOS lip balm. And yes, this is actually a functioning EOS lip balm. Like I could literally put this on my lips right now. This is lip balm and I know it's not exactly perfect but it's perfect for what it is. So remember to subscribe by clicking that little red subscribe button right below this video to become an official glitter critter because we're trying to reach 1,500,000 glitter critters. Oh and yes yet again this is another collaboration with some of my girls here on YouTube including Glamour Life Fox, Rosalie Says Rar, and Haley Williams. Glamour Life Box is going to be doing a McDonald's inspired EOS. Rosalie Says Rar is going to be doing a Bath and Body Works candle EOS. And Haley Williams is going to be doing a Starbucks Peppermint Mocha EOS. So make sure you go and you check out their videos after this video. And I'll be sure to put the links to all of their videos at the top of the description below. Make sure you go check them out and don't forget to subscribe to their channels. So now, let's get started. Well, you only need the light when it's burning. Alright, so before you can even think of making this giant EOS, you'll need any size sphere-shaped container or you can even use two bowls that are the same size for this. I was just lucky enough to find these at Party City near the giant gumball machine. Yes, it was just as magical as this giant EOS. Oh my gosh, it was so much fun there. So you just wanna set your container somewhere it won't roll away, and I use this very fun to touch Crayola Model Magic Clay, and this stuff is awesome to work with, but it's a little more challenging to get the bumps and wrinkles out of it. So I just spread it out over the top of the EOS base, squishing it on really, really well to get all of those wrinkles out. You just wanna use a glass, or you could use a rolling pin, and I also found myself pressing this against a glass bowl to flatten out all the wrinkles. So after you do all of that, 45 minutes later, it is finally young again. Get it? Young again? Because it had wrinkles before. Okay, I'll shut up. Next, I just repeated the same steps on the bottom half, and I squished all of those little wrinkles out of this one as well. So to form the bottom of this EOS, I pressed it against a bowl to give it that EOS bottom half shape, and that's why I really wanted to use clay for this tutorial because I felt as though I could mold it to look more like the EOS instead of just painting the plain container. Now to make the lip balm, I'm using one cup of beeswax, which I got on Amazon, one cup of coconut oil, and any essential oils or flavors you want to add. I'm using peppermint, tis the season to be jolly, yes. So you'll need a a sphere or round shaped container for this, especially if you want it to look like the real EOS lip balm. After you mix all of that up, you just microwave this on one to two minute increments until it's completely melted, and this took me about five minutes to melt in the microwave. Please be extra careful when you pour this into the sphere shaped container and plop it into the freezer for about an hour to fully solidify. While that's in the freezer, I'm just gonna begin carving in the EOS logo on the lid using my X-Acto knife. And I used an actual EOS lid for the reference in doing this, and I did my best to make it look as close to the real deal as I possibly could. And next, I used the end of a butter knife to make that little dent in the front of the EOS. So pull out your paint brushes and let's start painting. I'm using this baby blue acrylic paint that I got from Michaels for the entire container. I mixed a little white paint with it to make the light paint for this little dent here in the front. And now I'm just painting the entire thing while the clay is still squishy. This clay takes up to 72 hours to harden and unfortunately I didn't have that long to wait. But I would recommend letting it dry before you paint it because as you can see in the intro shots it still wasn't dry. It was really bumpy and lumpy, had fingerprints in it. I'm sorry about that, I just didn't have 
have time to wait. Next, I took the lip balm out of the freezer and I used more modeling clay to build up a stand for it so it was higher up like the real EOS. And I didn't film this part, but I also stuffed the remaining space with paper towels just to keep it in place. And last, I added the clay rim around the lip balm. I'm using my X-Acto knife to carve the twist cap lines and painted it with acrylic paint. And if you're planning to use this on your mouth, face, butt, whatever, just make sure you don't get paint on the lip balm. It's as simple as that. Last, I'm using a few shades darker blue paint to add definition to the twisty rim and the logo. And there you go, go. <laughs> I'm, I'm a dork, I know. That is how you make a giant EOS lip balm. Let me know in the comments what you think and what color would you paint your giant EOS lip balm. Also, remember to subscribe to become an official glitter critter because we are trying to reach 1,500,000 glitter critters. I'd love to have you a part of our glitterful world. And also, go and watch more EOS videos from my friends. All of their links are in the description below. I thank you so much for watching and have a glitterful day. I love you. Bye!